Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Miles versus Fully Loaf. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Miles, you say growing up, you thought the man you believe is your biological father was dead. Yes, Your Honor. Until three years ago when you discovered he was alive. You reached out to him only to have your heart broken when he denied being your dad. You and your mother are here to prove that Mr. Fully Love, whom you have never met, is your father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Fully Love and his wife are here today. Are you ready to see him? Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, will you please escort Mr. Fully Love and his wife in? Yes, Your Honor. Hello, folks. So, Ms. Miles, your whole childhood, you believed your father was deceased. Explain. My mom told me Mr. Fully Love was my father at an early age. And the rumor in the town that we grew up in said that Mr. Fully Love was deceased. And that's what I was led to believe because my mom hadn't seen him since she said uh, he seen me when he was, I was born. So, I believed he was deceased. How did you find out he was alive? A friend of the family, we ran into each other at the store. He heard the rumor that Mr. Fully Love was deceased. So, we talked about Mr. Fully Love and he said him and Mr. Fully Love are friends. So, he gave me Mr. Fully Love's number and we tried to reach Mr. Fully Love on numerous occasions. Text messages, calls, voicemails, pictures, and I didn't hear from Mr. Fully Love. And so, how long does it take you to actually get in touch with him? Almost three years. And so, for three years, you're just, what, waiting? Every day, wondering, is this the day he's gonna call me back? Yeah, sure. I have a Facebook post on the night he called. I posted on Facebook prior to him calling. Well, I called him first. And he called me back 20 minutes later after I made the Facebook post. May I read a little bit of it? Absolutely. It says, as tears wet my pillow, all I can do is dwell on my father, whom I've never met. You have no idea how broken I am inside due to your absence. You have no idea how I had to confide in men who abandoned me. You have no idea what it was like watching all my siblings meet their biological father all except for me. I may not ever meet you, but I still love you, Pops. So, that's so beautiful. And so you wrote that. Yes, Your Honor. And then you get a call back. Yes, Your Honor. When you speak to him for the first time, how does that feel? It was a relief. It was a relief because, like, I never thought it would happen. It had been so long, like... I never thought it, had, it would happen because I, we tried to reach him a lot of times. He don't do Facebook, so... Okay, and so, so Mr. Fully Love, that. what made you finally call back and why did it take three years? When I did get it, you know, it, it, it devastated me also, you know? Really? And, and, and uh, it devastated me Really? Also. I even called you several times myself. He knew. The friend that my daughter is referring to came to me and said, Jesse called him and told him, why did you give that woman my number? That, uh, that Be- was 25 years later, though, right? Because yeah. of my wife is a Christian and she might not like this. Okay, your wife is a Christian. This happened 25 years ago. He wasn't even married to this woman. So if his wife is the perfect Christian, she should accept my daughter because I'm a thousand percent sure that he is her father. And so, can you take me back? I want to understand the nature it of ain't your the relationship. It about accepting her and the perfect Christian. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't I, believe it. I, I okay. want to understand the we, nature we of your the relationship. The Christian thing to do it, it, is it don't you don't come just grab people's kids that she is you his know, daughter. <laughs> You know, because they say they pregnant, especially when I hear mm-hmm. that she's a promiscuous woman, what? had yeah. a boyfriend, already had a baby. You know what? So why? I I mean, we gonna believe this one is ours. He enjoyed it every night. That's all okay, right. Okay, hold on. I heard it was one night. I heard it was one night. Okay, okay. then. I heard it was okay. one okay. night. Okay, so now down. can you take you, me you, back you, to the yeah, nature of up. this relationship? Of course. Me and his only son, his only child at the moment were best friends. 
in junior high school. You were best friends with his son? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Did. Okay. And, and my son, my son has just passed away when, when, I, when I... I'm talking, okay? No, First of all, oh, no, baby. Oh, no, baby. His, son, like was, that. his son was That's killed a... by no. a train. Yeah, my son has just passed away. Jesse came into town for the funeral, and I was standing on the corner, me and two other friends. We were dancing. Mr. Fully, uh, no, Jesse, stopped. And I was dancing, and he told me, can you bag it up? And I broke it down. He gave me his cell phone number. And two or three weeks later, I was in bed with this man. So what, the one night come from? No. What? I was with him The nightly. one night came from him. I was with him nightly. And you slept with your best friend's father? Yes, I did, Your Honor. Many of times. <laughs> Many of times. Your Honor. Your Honor. You didn't come here to lie. Many of times. Okay. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you slept with your best friend's father... Yes, I did, Your Honor. ...after your best friend's funeral? Three weeks after, to be exact. Mr. Fully Love, uh, do you remember asking Miss Miles to back it up? Well, <laughs> well, she, she, was, she was backing it up now. Uh, exactly. She was backing, so you remember that? Nights. She was backing up and driving it down. She was. Oh! She was. She was. Oh! She, she was, she was she backing was. up and driving it and down. And I had oh. your nose wide open and, 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 when I was backing it up and she, dropping it down. She was backing up and driving it down. And, and so you just had to give in at some point. I did give in. Okay. But only one night, right? And so how many times did you give in? One time, Your Honor. One time. But, but not only this, she had a boyfriend. Sure did. And sure and, did. And I found out she already had a sure baby. Sure did. Yes, I did. And you knew all of this. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. You knew all of this and you kept so, right on sleeping. So, wait a minute. I ain't no wait, wait, no baby, wait, wait, wait. Huh? So, Ms. Miles, she, th this is important, though. She if you... Had a baby. Hold on. If you had a boyfriend, but you were also sleeping with Mr. Fully Love, why do you believe Mr. Fully Love is your child's yeah, biological where father? Where, where, where he at? Yeah. Well, he's dead. Oh, but I'm I sorry. know I who know that, made but, yeah. Kendall. But I'm yeah, saying, but did he... you also tell this other man before his passing that he could be your daughter's biological no. father? No. And when why? Ken when Kendall was born, right. he looked at Kendall. He said, Evelyn, he said, Kendall is not mine because she is too dark. But we know we can't go off a of skin tone. And at that we time, know that. You can't at go that back. time, Your Honor, me and him had and stopped if, seeing And if we gonna go by skin tone, me, at she ain't the same Honor, skin tone, tone as he is. Jesse, me and Jesse was together every night. Jesse stayed in Crenshaw Ooh, over a year. And no, I guess you no, did. That, over a year. <laughs> the she whole was, year no, that he was there, Your Honor, we slept together. She wasn't born then. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah. I mean, listen, you... You was you, pregnant This has been a 25-year-long And I knew about issue. her. She ain't champion. You... you your, your Honor, don't, don't, don't make me you do you up in this court. Do me up in here. You are lying. You are lying. Do me up. Kendall was only two months old me and my mother was sitting on my porch. You came over there. Da, 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 is that my baby? And I told you yes. <laughs> and he rode off into the sunset. You think I would left my? You think I would left my baby? Did. You did. You think I would left my you baby? You didn't even hold her. You looked I, I at know her. I know I didn't. Is this my I ain't baby? Never, I ain't never saw her. And you <laughs> ran off, and we haven't <laughs> seen you until today. Right. I ain't never saw and her. And so, Miss Miles, as you I say that, I can see I that brings tears to it your eyes. It does because he's sitting up here denying her. He, he had, had a had chance, Your Honor. Had just lost the son. Yeah. You had a daughter, and you know Kendra Yo. And you say you remember the day he yes. came up to the house. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And I did I a, I a good had, job at raising Kendall without kids. your help. I didn't know she had no kids, Your Honor. You said you did earlier now. But, but hold on, Mr. Fully Love. Do you, no... do you remember the day you pulled up on her mother's oh, house? No, I don't. Yeah. You don't remember that? No, no, so is it your testimony that after having a sexual relationship with this young woman, you never even knew she was pregnant? Never. Oh, God. You never knew Kendall was born? Never. <laughs> and you were never notified until that day Kendall reached out to you. I'm so glad she did. <laughs> yeah. Your Honor. No, we need to find out. Your Honor, can out. we find out? I need to find out. Kendall, yeah, Kendall, going, Kendall we... going through something, and she talked to me for uh, uh, maybe an hour, and she, she, she pulled her heart out And to you me. still was not a father to her. 
You misbirthdays. We graduation. don't know. We don't know. Birth of your grandma. He knew. He knew. If he, All right. If I've, he heard, I've, I've heard enough. Okay. I've heard enough. Okay. I'm sitting here now looking at Kendall. Miss Miles, I know this is difficult for you, and this is a lot for you to hear. This is a lot. Yes, it is. And I mean, for a young woman who's waited so long to meet the man that she's been told her entire life is her biological father, and then have to endure listening to this testimony, I know that's not easy. Can you look at Mr. Fully Love? And I want you to tell him what you needed as a young woman. Mm-hmm. And just listen, Mr. Fine, Fully Love. I needed you to be there. I, I, I didn't have no, man, no male figure there. I, I needed you, like, I needed your presence. I needed your voice. I needed your touch. I, needed, I just needed you to be there physically. Because my mom, she was there, but there wasn't enough. It still was a void in my life. And that's why I kept on praying. I, and I just kept on having faith that one day this day would come to pass. And I'm glad it's here because I, I need to be relieved. I want to be free. And I, I need you. My son needs you. Got a son? Yes. Mm-mm-mm. You missed a lot. It's been 25 years. I'm an adult now. It's been, it's been rough. It's been a long time coming. Why your mother didn't reach out to me? She, I, I don't know. She said I was your father. Your Honor, I called this man. Left voice messages on his phone. Can you remember this? I called you him. No he, I called I you, Jesse, me. several times. You don't know who no. I had you you, some no of your mama. friends no, searching no. for his mother, come to find out that she had died. One I did try to find you. Yes, I did. And I shouldn't have to try to find you if you had a stepped in when she was two months old and, and got you a DNA if you was in doubt that Kimna was yours. But, Ms. Miles, I, I, I also I have you. to ask you. I didn't know you had another kid. Did, did Mr. I know you had, Fully Love? Did I know you had Mr. another Fully kid? Yes, Mr. Yes, Fully Love. Mr. Fully Love. Mr. Fully Love. I run this court. Right. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I mean. That's all right. I have a lot of testosterone. I know. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I look, I get it. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry. It doesn't bother me. All I want you to do is be quiet. I, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Miles, I have to ask you respectfully. There was another guy. There was a boyfriend. So how do you know Mr. Fully Love is your daughter's biological father? It can't just be by that, that young man looking at her and going, you know what, this baby's not mine. We, we can't go off of that. I know who got me pregnant. I know where it was. We don't need no DNA. The yeah. date and everything. <laughs> so you just you know be quiet. Man. We don't need no DNA. Yeah. <laughs> just be quiet. Well, we need one. So... Because I don't want you to have any doubts. I've heard enough testimony. I mean, the real truth is, is, you know, Mr. Fully Love, 25 years have gone by and this young woman has been told, right or wrong, all her life, that you were her biological father, but the majority of the time, they thought you had passed away. Hey, dear. What are your hopes for today? I hope that Kendall's my daughter. You do? I really do. Because she's a beautiful young lady. Yes, I did. She is. Sure did. Yeah, yeah. That she is. I did. I did a beautiful job with I her think you by did. myself. Yeah, yeah if he the father, mm-hmm. you did do it by you did. I do, do it by job. myself. And so hold on. What are your hopes, Kendall? I hope that he is my father so that I can have closure and we can build a relationship after all this time and just go from there. All right. I feel like I've heard enough testimony. It's time we get the results. Get the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Fully Love, you are the father. <laughs> That's your daughter. That is your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lady. daughter. It's nice to meet you, Miss Kendall. Nice to meet You're you. You're a beautiful lady. Can I get a hug? Mm-hmm. Get a hug. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Thank you. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful. Oh. Thank you, George. I'm sh- 
Uh, we apologize, Miss um, Mouse. It's accepted. It's accepted. Can it's we accepted. get a hug? Because we're going to have to be cordial. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to be cordial. <laughs> you, did a, you did a great job. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. That was wonderful. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that moment. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. And so, Ms. Miles, how does it feel? Oh, it feels awesome. I got a dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I know this has been a long time coming, Ms. Miles. I see your emotion, but I need you now to allow your daughter this moment, this space, and the grace to get to know her father. And most importantly, for your daughter, that hole that your daughter has felt in her heart, for him to fill it, right? Yes, Your Honor. Fill it full of love. Amen. So that means you live up to your name. Yes, right. ma'am. Okay, Mr. Fully Love. I love that. <laughs> yes. Trust me, we gonna right? embrace her and we gonna love her for real, for real. Amen to that family. So I'm Amen. sending you off now. <laughs> That's what we wanna hear. That's, look, that's what we want to hear. Starts today. Starts Sending you off today. now to Dr. Jeff. <laughs> we have counseling and resources for you so you can begin to walk through how you want to do this. <laughs> All right. I wish you the very best. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Woo! Made it out without crying. <laughs>